We're in. Good trick. Hang on to your hat. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Out crabbing with my mate Mark today. We've got our eight ultimate pro crab pots. So, uh, we're in between moons at the moment. What we're going to do is set four pots in a couple of creeks and four pots out on the flats to see which ones fish the best. We'll do, do a demo on how easy it is to set up these ultimate pro crab pots and how quick it is. All right, these ultimate pro crab pots are so easy to set up. Let's see how quick we can do this. We've already got the rope out anyway. Two, here's three. And the fourth pole. That easy. Look at that. Spectacular pots, ready to go. We'll get some bait in and get this thing in the water. Heavy duty bait pocket. Crabs can't chew through it. We'll get a uh, fish carcass in and away we go. Bit of skin maybe. There's some skin there too. Red throat. Lots of crab bait from my last reef trip. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out. And these bait bags close that simply. Look at that. Sit flat on the bottom. Close the top up. And the bungee cord on these closing loops make it so easy. Ready to go. Rightio, this pot's going in on the flats. We're a fair way off the shoreline, as you can see. We're in 1.5 meters of water. Now this pot should stay wet overnight in the tide and um, should be good to go. Righto, Mark, bombs away, mate. Pot one. All right, so now we're between two systems. There's a large creek over there and there's a large creek over there and we're up on the flats once again. 1.5 meters of water, send it, Mark. All right, fourth pot out on the flats. Send it when you're ready, Mark. There's Townsville in the background. Righto, mate, when you're ready. We're now in the creek system. This is the first of four pots we'll put in the creek system. Righto, when you're ready, straight over the front. Beautiful. Pot six. Righto, mate, when you're ready. Pot eight. That's it. Soak for 24 hours, come back tomorrow. Hopefully we get some stonkers. G'day guys, well we're back. It's the following morning. Tide's on its way in. We've got our eight pots to pull that we've left in for an overnight soak. They've been here for 24 hours. Four pots out on the flats. Four pots in the creeks. Got Mark with me again. G'day. And uh, we'll see how we go. Righto, pot number one. Here she comes, ultimate pro crab pot. Is there anything in it? Oh, a couple of little ones only. Definitely the right color. <laughs> Nah, he's way under. Oh, well, that's a shame. Beautiful colour. Yeah, nice colour crab. Oh, and the bait shakes out that easy. How good is that? Now, pack up. First one's a bit hard. Bit of thumb action. How good are the bungees that pack the poles up? Just like that. Done. All right, this is our second pot on the flats. Just out the front of this major creek system. Let's hope for a better result this time. You might be unlucky, Mark. I might be. Anything in there? Hiding down the bottom. One. One. One crab. One crab. Give him a quick rinse. Yep, I reckon he's under. Yep, 
Yeah, he's under by a couple of mil. Full little crab, but under. I know, first of our pots in the creek system. You've got your name on the crab pot, Mark. Yeah, look at that, it must be my crabs. This is the lucky one. The lucky one, let's hope it is. We're right on the edge of this deep hole. I'm chewing up mud. As you pull up the string, I'm gonna motor forward. Come on. Oh, I can see a crab there. I can see a couple of crabs. Have a look on this size there. Yeah, they do actually. Anyway, let's tip them out and have a look. Don't put your fingers in there, mate. Righto, we've crossed the creek to get out of the wind and away from the mud flats. There might be a couple there, Mark. That'll do, that'll do. Yeah, definitely. That one is a keeper. Just gonna not lose me fingers. Righto, he's gotta be a keeper. Yep. Without a doubt, nice, good quality full crab. I'll just back away from those mangroves. Incoming tide. He's rock hard, every body section's hard. Hard on the side. Nice crab. I'll chuck him in the esky for now and we'll tie him up shortly. Yeah, he's under, mate. Mm. Way under. That fella's under. We've got one more that might be a keeper there. Oh, maybe not. Nah, he's under two. Rightio, we'll get this fella tied up. Come on. He wants to eat you. Tied muddy. Good weight to him. Very good weight. Oh, very full. Very yeah, good. nice size crab. Yeah. We'll get him in the uh, bait tank and go grab another pot. All right, here's our second pot in this creek system. And Mark, you've got your name on another one of my pots. Yes. What's the go there? Yeah, well, you know how things are. <laughs> you have to be lucky something. Can you reach it? Yep. Let's hope this is heavy and full of mud crabs. Feels heavy. Feels heavy? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. It's got mud crabs in it. Got mud does have mud crabs in it. Actually, we might have a couple of keepers here, I'm yeah. hoping. Definitely, yeah. Doesn't even need a wash. Definitely one, look at that. Got a sandy. sandy. That one might be a keeper. Yeah. All right, let's check these bad boys out. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, mate, let's see what we got. All right. I think that's under, that's under, but that's Sandy. We'll check him out. You can take him home, release those. Oh, he's lost a claw. Do you want to keep this? Nah, let him live again. We'll let him live again. Righto. That one there looks big enough. Full. And he touches. Oh, That's a keeper. Got a Maltese cross. <laughs> nice colour. Yep. Very full crab. That one there might be close. Yep. Right, I don't tip any more out yet. Okay.
these two look like keepers. Hmm. Yeah, it's only going to take a couple of pots with three or four and we'll be going all right. Yep. Full crab. Another one in the bin. Righto, what else have we got in there, Mark? This one looks massive. Yeah, and that other one looks like a keeper too. Less. That is a nice crab. Sorry. <laughs> At least it's not a crab now. That is a good sized crab. And he is chock a block full. Really, no need to measure him, but he is a good size. Let me find some sunlight. Yeah, he's about five mil over. What a beautiful crab. That is a good crab. That's three, mate. Yeah. Three. And you notice the name on the pot? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I'll have to change that. <laughs> so is this crab. It's a proper good quality crab. When I first seen, the first one I seen in there was that one. I'm yeah. Like, yeah that's, that's the best. That's our number three. Righto, four pots down, three crabs in the bin. We've got two pots out on these flats and then two in the next creek. And we're in about one meter of water. Feels heavy. Oh. Yeah, it feels heavy. Man, there are a few crabs in there. Let's hope we've got a keeper or two. Is there any mud on it? No? You all right, bring it in. There's a couple of big, yeah, there's a couple of, a couple of big jennies in there. There's definitely a few crabs, mate. Whoa. Got my name on it, it's see? Got your name on it, there. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if there is a keeper there, to be honest. Definitely oh, a lot of crabs. Jennies. A lot of jennies, huh? Yeah, a lot of jennies. Jennies over this way. Yeah. I think they might all be jennies, actually. I'm actually looking at the nippers and I think the same. Yeah. Oops. Righto, what do we got there? Too much shade. That's a Jenny, that's a Jenny. That's a little buck, that's a Jenny. It's a little buck. They're all under, they're all going back. <laughs> Queensland laws. Queensland laws, I know. Righto, that's enough. So we've got three Jennies there. Oh, two Jennies and a little buck. That's definitely a buck. Yes. Excuse me. I think it'll be too small though. And a Jenny. Let's check him out. Where's that crab measure? I think he got it down there. He's gonna be under, I'm pretty sure. What's on for the estuary though? Only just under. Just under by a couple of mil, but he's under. And that's a Jenny too. All right, fifth pot, no keepers. So the creeks are definitely producing better than the flats right now. Okay, this is our pot six and the last one that's out on the flats. Last pot on the flats full of jennies. Ah, oh, you missed it. Got it now. Got my name on it. Yes. Probably, hope. probably full of Jennies again. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Feels heavy, but it could be the weight of mine. Well, there's crabs in there. Not many. Another friggin' big Jenny. Two Jennies. Two Jennies and a little buck. Not the result we wanted, but anyway, we haven't got a single keeper off the flats. All been in the creek. Two pots to go.
Righto. Six pots in the boat, two to go, and we've only got three crabs. I've got high hopes for this pot, Mark. Not because your name's on it. <laughs> Not because your name's on it at all. Well, I thought I was going to be bad luck to start today. Well, you have been. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. All my pots were hand crabs. <laughs> this pot, I'm calling it for four keepers. Ooh, big call. Big call. Now, take your rope to the other side if you can, mate. So we don't tip over. Right, let's see it. Four keepers. Friggin' heavy. Friggin' heavy. I like it. And Definitely a lot of crabs in there. Oh, I can see a stonker there. I can see a stonker too. Yeah, I can see a couple actually. That is one big crab, man. That is massive. Can you lift it? What am I stuck on? I, thought I, was I don't stuck know. On something, but it's the crabs. Yeah, <laughs> man. We might actually have the four keepers that I called. Holy shit. Look at, I'm going to take my camera off. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. There's some big rusty bucks in there. There is, man. Righto, Mark. Let's see if we've got our four keepers. There. Righto. That is a damn horse. Look at the Holy size shit. of that. Look at the claws on it. My God. That thing is so full. Where's that crab check? Um, Have you got me? it? I've got it here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Holy shit. That's huge. That is a proper crab. He's like two centimetres over. Chock a block full. Wow. Look at that thing. Nice. Holy shit. I'll get him tied up. That crab is a proper stonker, mate. Look at that thing. Look at the claw. Wow. That Holy is a nice crab, bro. I can't believe the size of the claw. Nice like crab. Right, Righto, this fella. Another hard crab. Full. Where's the sunlight? Oop. He is a keeper. Spike to spike, he touches. Legal crab. All right, that's five, bro. Five. Yes. Let me get this tied, and yep. we'll check the others out. I was going to say, you, you, your mate took you out on the reef. He deserves crabs first. <laughs> so, yeah. Nah, there's plenty to go around for now. He only wants a couple. All right, that's two keepers so far out of that pot. He's under, he's going back. What's this fella like? Where did our crab check go? Yeah. And he touches two, mate. Oh, really? Yeah, he touches two. All right, that's six. I need to cut some more string. Yep. All right, let's get this fella tied up. Nice full crab, just legal, not very big. Nothing compared to the big stonker we just got, but he's full. Right, what do you reckon that is? Six. Not including that. One, two, three. Six. Eighth and final pot. How was that last pot? Absolutely. My God. Got pretty high hopes for this pot as well. If it hasn't flipped over or turned with the tide, 
we should get a couple more keepers here. Let's hope. And it just so happens to have Mark's name on it as well, <laughs> which I'm not real happy about. Okay, let's back out into the main channel. There's definitely a lot of crap. Yeah, man, there's a couple of stonkers in there too, I reckon. Get it in the boat, bro. <laughs> oh my God. You're right? Yep. Look at that. Ultimate pro crab pots. Holy There must oh, be wow. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's one out. A little one got out. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. Maybe a dozen crabs in there. You got to get that one out without losing a finger, mate. They're getting out the escape hatch. Oh, you did it. What have we got there? One Jenny, a brim and two small bucks. Jenny's, they're all small too. That might have been what I saw, that large Jenny as a keeper. We might be out of luck here. Oh, this one? No, nah, he's too nah, small. Too small. One thing I do notice with these Ultimate Pro Crab Pots though is with the cheaper pots, their flippers do not get tangled and stuck, which is really good. I think they're both under, they're both under. Oh well, nothing, that pot was a donut. Lots of crabs, but no keepers. All right, that's it for our eight pot overnight soak. So we didn't do too bad, Mark. What do you think? I think we did all right. Um, we did a trial on the uh, open flats and we found that in the creek is better. Absolutely, so zero crabs out on the flats at the moment. Proved that the creek mouths are producing. Got a couple of stonkers here. Anyway, look at that. That is a massive crab. Here's another good crab. This thing is a proper stonker for up here in North Queensland, considering the fishery does get fished a lot here. And then we've got six crabs, so here's another one. There's another one. And there's one more. Not a bad result really. Eight pot overnight soak with the ultimate pro crab pots. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.